When this restaurant opened its doors nine years ago, the rule book went out the window. At Lentil as anything, conventional business wisdom is ignored. Instead of paying a set price for meals, diners are given the freedom to only pay what they can. The reaction was uh, amazement initially. Uh, but then um, people warm to it, they, they realise that uh, this is not a gimmick, this, is, uh, this guys are serious. <laughs> Shanika Fernando operates two restaurants and a school canteen, as well as a number of other support programs for new migrants which range from crisis accommodation to driver training. He says customers appreciate the restaurant's focus on giving back to communities. It's a friend in need and that's what I think facilitates integration into a, a new country. Shanika's work to promote multicultural diversity in Australia earned him some well-deserved recognition in 2007 when he was named Australia's local hero. But in 2009, times are tougher than they used to be. The hard economic times have impacted on us as well, so what we, we had, whilst we're doing a lot more meals, people are donating less. Some 60 volunteers work at the restaurants, doing their bit to keep them afloat during the economic downturn. They say it's hugely rewarding to be involved. Because I was 20 years old now, like that's the most remarkable thing in my life, to be involved in such a great organisation. Many turn up for work even when they aren't rostered on. That's the most beautiful thing about this place. You don't feel like working at all. It's like, a, it's like relaxing, sitting in a house with your brothers, sisters. All the time I, I meet new people from different countries doesn't matter where they come from. Volunteers also benefit professionally, improving their workplace and language skills to help them move forward into paid careers. I never worked in a restaurant before, but you know, I got all the skills being a, wait, a waiter and you know, serving customers. Lentil as anything restaurants are open in St Kilda and Abbotsford Convent in Melbourne.